In this episode, to make a tool to finish a project, to make a tool to finish another project, to start a project to make a tool, we're making a slitting saw arbor. Interestingly, you can buy these. They're dirt cheap and almost all of them are terrible. It's one of those projects I highly recommend that you do yourself.
need to make a decision here. We've machined half of this arbor and we need to flip it over and machine out the counter bore for holding the slitting saw in. Now we could throw it in the three jaw chuck, but you know, most of us know that the run out on this chuck isn't going to be acceptable. It's going to be about three thou. I'd like it to be much lower than that. So we have two options. I can put the four jaw chuck on here. That's going to be the for sure bet. Or I can put the 5C collet closer on here and see how close it dials in. For kicks, I'm going to put the 5C collet on here, use a three quarter inch collet for this shank, and we'll see what type of run up we're getting. One million, two million, three million. Looks to be about one thou. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better. So with a little bit of finagling, I got the run out down less than five tenths. Now a few things should be noted. One, there's a hardened collet in here. This isn't an import one. I have an import collet and the best that I could get with it was about a thou to a little bit over a thou. So collets obviously make a difference. The other thing to note is you need to be careful when you tighten the collet down. I noticed that if you tend to over tighten it, now it's it's pretty snug in there now, I'm not afraid to machine on this, but if you over tighten it, your run out starts to go a little bit off kilter too. And it's an interesting thing, I've noticed that with ER collets as well. Uh, there's a tendency for people to over tighten things which causes more run out. So be mindful of that. You know, you don't need the biggest wrench in your shop to tighten some of this stuff down. I'm not advocating everybody to go out and get torque wrenches for their setup, but just, just be mindful of when you tighten you know, work pieces into collets or you're tightening tools into collets, just, just be mindful that over tightening can introduce more run out. Let's get back to work.
body's done now, we have to pull off this 5C collet chuck, put the three jaw back on so that we can machine the cap, or at least one side of the cap, and we're going to have to flip it over and probably put this 5C collet chuck back on. Man, I wish there was a quicker way to change these chucks. Well, wait a minute. I have an idea here. So that's how he does it. Clever b Well, that worked quite nicely. again. Well, I'll be. It even has the right call in it. It's under five tenths run out. see how it goes. You can always tighten the cap screw when it's in the spindle and loosen it. It's just I tend to forget to do that and then you're sitting there at the bench trying to replace the slitting saw but whatever the case uh, it goes together. Oh, it's really really straightforward. Uh, this cap screw is a little short. Uh, it's the only one I had in the shop. It's, it, this is a one inch cap screw. You probably should use an inch and a quarter even inch and a half but anyway, uh, these things this is significantly better than the ones you can buy and it's a good couple hours in the shop now if you want drawings of this just head on over to my blog there'll be a free PDF there of the drawings that I use to make it it's really straightforward you could probably draw it up yourself in less than an hour 30 minutes 10 minutes depending on your CAD skills but save you a little bit of time go there and grab them if you want to make one of your own Okay, the main collet's done now. Collet. 